I'll try and explain to you a bit what it's like um, being on the start line of the boat race. Um, it's very intense. It's very intense because you've got probably uh, 300,000 people on the banks of the river um, watching you. You've got a helicopter overhead, not very far overhead, really loud. You've got a big screen. Uh, it's a bit like at a football match. You have a big screen in one corner of the stadium. You've got a big screen on the side of the river kind of sh you know showing the faces up close to the crowd and I remember looking in the boat and then seeing my face massive uh, on the screen which is which was slightly terrifying um uh you've um you're right under the bridge and you're then just kind of floating freely on the water and so looking at the other boat making sure you don't miss the start um uh and then you're reflecting on how you've been working towards this moment for the last year and now it's for real and you're going to get one shot at it one other boat and there's nothing between you and them so they can just like steer into you crash into you the the waves are you know the water is never flat um so it's it's pretty full-on in a way that international racing is much more regulated and safer you can't crash into people you've got six boats. you know it's just two boats there fighting it out um, uh, and as I say, it's it's everything you've been working towards. Um, you have warm up races, but no one cares if you win or lose the warm up races. It's everything is in preparation for that one race, um, and it's also difficult because in rowing, um, you've got to go flat out of the start. You can't afford to go soft at the start and let the other crew get a lead on you, because then they can steer over, they can wash you down, they can take your water. So you've got to go flat out. And then like ease into a race rhythm that you can sustain for 20 minutes um and whereas if you're doing like a 5,000 meter running race you're not going to go flat out for the first minute that would be stupid but with rowing you have no choice you've got to go flat out and then you've got to kind of settle to some sort of sustainable rhythm so you know on that start line if you if you get it wrong you've lost the race instantly um so it's it's very it, the nerves are high the pressure is high um but the good thing is, you know, um, it's high because you care and because there's a lot on the line. And so if and when you win, um, it feels great. And, and you win as a crew, you make friends for life. Um, you, yeah, it, it, you just cherish, cherish the memory. It's